Welcome back everyone. I'm doing another uh, video on the Caparas. It's been a bit of a while since I've done one of these, but this time we're comparing um, the DLT exclusive here in the, the Grey G10 uh, to one of the original pre-CQI versions. Um, a few people have asked me uh, A, if the backspaces that I've done previously are compatible with the, the exclusive um, and secondly, to see if the scales are um, compatible to do a scale swap. So uh, rather than um, not knowing the answer, I thought I'd just do a video and uh, a attempt the swap myself. Um, so, and then we can have a look at, at some of the differences. Um, this one I've installed the backspacer on previously and done the choil mod. And uh, then same with the, the new one I've done a a choil on there too. So um, let's pull these ones apart and um, have a look. So we'll start with this one and um, just get everything out. Always try and keep things in order. So those ones can all go over there, the other ones can go up there. But um, if you're hoping to pick up one of these DLT exclusives, I'm sorry to say, well, I'm not sorry to say, but they're all sold out now, so uh, too bad, too sad. If you're trying to chase one, ping across the room, no. Nope. So the original one didn't have a pivot bushing unit, so hopefully we can have a look at that in a second. And we'll put that one there because we'll swap that over as well. So can we just put that up there? we will try and keep that together. So that can go there. But if you look, we've just got the, the washers there. No pivot bushing at all. So if you can see, I'll bring it in closer. Just the washers. Everything else I'm pretty sure is just the same. Yeah, we're going to have to take that out because the um, stop pin and the other little pin here are embedded in the scales. So they can go there and we'll put that up there. And now we'll undo this one and see how we go. Taking this one apart. So the the grey G10 is actually kind of uh, growing on me a bit. I um, was originally a little bit more of a fan of the um, carbon fibre, but but as I've kind of ha had the uh, the grey G10 one in my hands. I don't mind it so much now, but the original and still the best had uh, carbon fibre. I'm talking about my custom one um, that I made a few years ago now. Um, that one is starting to look a little bit old actually. I've had it for probably close to five years. I've been carrying it as my everyday carry knife. Um, and it's, um, 
It's starting to look a bit tired. So I'm thinking I might actually swap this across and start using this new one with the new blade still as my EDC and um, just see how it goes. The original one was in um, RWL34. Uh, most of my customs have been in RWL34 or Damasteel. Um, there's been a few that I've done with um, the Takafu Super Gold 2, um, which is uh, layered Damascus on the outside. And um, over there. And that they come up really nicely. So can go there. If we have a look at the pivot of this one, you should be able to see in there. Now there's a pivot bushing, and uh, the washers I'm imagining probably not compatible between the knives. Don't want to get these mixed up. But. I don't know, they're the same. Interesting. So it must the construction must go pivot bushing and washer underneath. Oh yep. There you go. So that's the difference between the the CQI version and the uh the original version. We go there and we'll keep so we know it's in the same way. We should be able to now swap everything out. So that little pin's the same. If we look at these, they look pretty similar. If we even compare the profile. All the hole positions and everything like that look pretty good. Might do a little bit of a mix shabazz and wipe everything down and re oil it. Sorry. Just getting some isopropyl alcohol just to give everything a wipe. It oils and gets inside everything, so kind of good to clean it up. And remember to do everything for on camera rather than um, rather than anything else. A bit more. I'm just doing this on the the uh, dining room table not set up with good lighting or anything like that like the review guys most of my exciting stuff happens in the the workshop rather than uh, anywhere else clean that up and it goes there Leave. This one. I'll put that one through after this one. So that one goes there. Put that one through. Give it a wipe first. Because then it will all be lined up. Then the washer. So 
So yeah, the the CQI action is um a, a lot smoother than uh, than the version, the original version. But I guess I'm not one of those blade fidgety people quite so much. Put some lubrication on that. Don't need it very much. the blade a little bit but yeah I, I'm not really um too much of a fidget knife person so um, there's been a few people obviously it's more important than uh, than it, what it is for me so um, it's definitely something that I will make sure in the future I do more to um, make sure a knife is a bit more frigid, fidget friendly um, than otherwise. So uh, there we have that together. Let's clean up the back spacer as well and put this one all back together and make sure that all the pieces from the uh, old version will fit with the new version. We can go there. Make sure we don't let the blade split, slide around and stuff and cut us as we're doing this. So we can just use this to line it up through there. There we go. And um, couldn't give this one a clean. Probably should have uh, even compared liners and see if there's a, a difference between the liners and the new one and the old one. So what have we got here? They look pretty similar to me. I like to always do the um the pivot screw first just because sorry about the blowing everyone if I do this one up then I can tighten it up and the blade won't spin quite so freely with the pivot bushing in there it should be uh, still able to to swing round while you you do this but I kind of like to avoid having the pressure on the lock while I'm doing it go back and put the the wire clip in place it's looking pretty good the scale swap definitely seems to be working all right I have it just in there a little bit and hook it under. There we go. Make sure that's nice and tight. Make sure they're all nice and tight actually. And just make sure 
the action is still good. The blade centering looks pretty good to me. There we go. We have carbon fiber handle with 20 CV blade. Can you see that? There we go. So yeah, the um, the scale swap definitely is possible. And um, this one I think is going to go straight into my pocket and I'll um, clean up that other one in a sec. So um, hope this if you're keen to uh, give it a crack, that you um, find it pretty easy. And um, yeah, I uh, hope you gained a little bit of insight into um, the differences between the, uh, the original non-CQI version and the CQI version. And, um, and uh, now you can be also assured that the, uh, the exclusive is the uh, same action as the CQI version has that same pivot bushing in there and um yeah thanks for watching everyone and um uh thanks dlt for a, a fantastic exclusive run um sold out uh in a day so um they should be really happy with that i know uh i think it's gone really well so uh thanks again everyone and um we'll see you next time with some more uh, uh cnc action